was all set with the sunshine, yeah. all set with the nice I temperatures, was too. and now you're talking about changes, but I guess we have to get used to it, right? It's brief, so yeah, let me good. just stress that to all of our viewers. The changes we'll see tomorrow are going to be very short-lived, but we can still enjoy a full day of sunshine for our Tuesday. Temperatures this morning ranging anywhere between the 40s and 50s. I think by 7 o'clock, what, here in the next 15 or so minutes, we're talking temperatures area-wide in the lower to mid-50s. As we reach the noon time, temperatures should be close to that 60-degree mark. May not be a bad idea to grab that lunch and head outdoors. At least maybe go for an afternoon walk. Mmm, breath of fresh air. Let me tell you why today would be such a nice day to do a walk. Well, temperatures not incredibly Warm. We're still seeing pleasant temperatures in the upper 60s, and we have a dry north wind, so lower humidities and temperatures as you drive home today in the mid 60s. So today is a near picture perfect day. Plenty of sunshine fills the sky. You'll definitely need the sunglasses as you step outside. You'll need those for the drive to work, and you'll need those for the drive home from work. And as for the kids heading off to the bus this morning, especially in our northern communities, they will need a light jacket as temperatures in Coleman right now starting out at 54. Here in Birmingham, we're at 53. And although I don't show the national map very often, I do want to point out that there's a cold front that's acting as a fence to trap a lot of this cold air to our north. That cold air influencing the temperatures in North Alabama this morning. It hasn't quite reached Birmingham just yet, but that cold front is going to sweep across the state today, and that's why we will notice noticeably cooler temperatures today as compared to yesterday when we were in the mid to upper 70s. 68 for your high today, just a touch cooler, but that sunshine will abound. Clear scan on our storm track radar this morning, and we're not seeing any rain through the evening hours, but look at this. By Wednesday at 3 p.m., those clouds begin to roll in, rolling that clock forward between 4 and 5 p.m. Rain begins in northwest Alabama from about 5 to 7 p.m. That moves across west into central, and then 9 o'clock, I think it crosses over that 5920 corridor, and that's when we could start to see that rain impacting places like Shelby County all the way down towards Clinton, Talladega over towards Aniston. From 9 o'clock until midnight, it quickly exits stage right, and the sky is actually going to clear out pretty quickly, and that's, that's why I'm not putting any rain in your Thursday forecast, because any wet weather that we see Thursday is really going to fall close to that midnight hour, and it will all fall before you wake up on Thursday morning. Rainfall moves out Thursday, sun shines back for the rest of the week, but temperatures get noticeably colder. 30s both Saturday and Sunday morning. And that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast.